Welcome back to Vinyl Decal School. Thanks for joining me. Any likes, follows and subscribes are always appreciated. So thank you in advance for those. So in this video, I thought I would just talk a little bit about different design software that you can use to create vinyl decals with. So although Cricut Design Space has had quite a few updates recently and it is better than it used to be, especially in terms of reliability, it doesn't crash as much as it used to for me anyway, I would still never use it to create my designs in just because it just doesn't have the same amount of features as other software do. I do also have Silhouette Studio that I use with my Cameo 4 and although that is much better than Design Space, has a lot more features, I still find it quite clunky and a bit slow. So again, I still don't use that to make my decal designs. I prefer to design elsewhere and then upload into the cutting software for each machine. So this might be helpful as well if you have a totally different type of cutting machine and you just want something a bit better than the software that comes with it or that is recommended for that machine. Just make sure you're choosing one that saves as the right file type. So for Cricut, for example, you want to be able to save as a JPEG, a PNG or an SVG file. And it's usually quite similar with most cutting machines, I think. But do double check the specifications to make sure. So the first ones I want to mention are Photoshop and Illustrator because that's what I use. They are two different programs and they both have slightly different features and are kind of built to do different design things. But you can use both of them to create your decal designs. They are a bit more on the pricey side because they come within Adobe Creative Cloud, which gives you access to other software as well. But they do often do student discounts and offers throughout the year with money off. And I share a subscription with my husband as well. So it's not too much and it's kind of worth it because we both use it every day. It is also probably what you want to learn if you think later down the line you want to be doing larger scale designs for clients and in more professional settings because it is the industry standard of design software. I feel like everything you could possibly want to do graphic design and illustration wise is possible within Adobe Creative Cloud. But then again, I'm not a professional one of either of those. So what do I know? I do use Photoshop the most because a lot of what I do is text based and I just find it a bit quicker and easier to do on Photoshop. Check out my video here if you want to see how I do that. But if there is anything a bit more complicated and needs a bit more manipulation, then I'll usually do that in Illustrator. And I'll also use Illustrator if I wanna create an SVG rather than a PNG. Although you can just use a file converter if you wanna change one to the other usually. The second one I just wanted to mention is Canva. So I also pay for Canva Pro and I don't actually use that to design my decals, although you definitely could. I use it for more promotional, stuff like creating pins and Instagram posts and all that kind of thing, as well as various other projects I do. It's just such a quick thing to use and has lots of great templates. You can also use the free version of it and that still gives you access to lots of the different features. But if you wanna be saving PNG files without a background, or you want to be able to use your own commercially licensed fonts that you've downloaded from elsewhere, then you would need the pro account. Apparently you can use their fonts to sell stuff with if you have a pro account as well, but it's a little bit of a gray area. So before doing that, just double check that specific font, who it belongs to, and if there is any information anywhere that tells you otherwise. If you wanna see my video on where to find fonts and a little bit more about commercial licenses, check this out here. The next one is PicMonkey, which is also another popular choice. I don't use it personally, but it looks to me like it's trying to be in competition with Canva because it has a lot of templates and the ability to animate graphics. But it does also look like it has a lot of good and different features that can help you have like an all round good design experience and will help you to get lots of different things done. And price wise, there are three different levels. Basic one might be all that you need, but just take a look at the different features and figure out which one would work best for you and what you need to do with it. So Inkscape is the next one and this is free and I see a lot of Cricut users recommending this. I think a lot of people use it. It's a vector based software like Illustrator. 
and a lot of the features are very similar to Illustrator as well. You can see here all of the different things you can do with it, which is quite a lot if you want to create your own designs, you're not going to be too limited. And there's also a section that will give you tutorials on how to use it. But most of these design softwares will do that actually will give you some kind of help. This is where you download it from. I don't know if you have to always like keep updating manually, but here they are anyway. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's a ton of different buttons and things to play with with it. GIMP is then the free software that is most like Photoshop, which is ideal for editing photos, but you can also create your decal designs in there too. And if you're technical, it is open source, so you can change it around a bit. I don't really know what that means. Um, so there's lots of information on there. And to me, it seems a little bit complicated to download, but I'm sure if I looked into it, I'm sure there'll be tutorials on how to do it on YouTube. It'll be quite easy, hopefully. Um, have a look at it anyway. And again, there's some tutorials on how to use it on there and all of the different features and what you kind of can expect. I'll link a good video I found about the difference between Photoshop and GIMP in the description because I thought that was quite interesting, kind of shows you a bit more behind the scenes of one versus the other. So I don't know if this next one is pronounced photop or photopia. I want to call it photop because that was quite cute, but it is probably photopia. Whatever it is, it looks kind of identical to Photoshop on first glance, but you use it within your browser rather than having to download it which is a plus if you don't want to be downloading different software to your computer. So it does have very similar features in that you can add text, although you are quite limited to how big you can make the font, but it's not a problem because you can kind of just transform it that way. And there's all sorts of different features. It does look like you can only use their fonts unless you load fonts into it. I'm not really sure how that works but it's worth having a look at. And then just has a lot of similar features to Photoshop, to be honest. And there are ads on it, which I've kind of cropped out, but you can pay to take them off. So maybe do check it out and just have a play with it if you think it's something that might be useful to you. Then there is also Sure Cuts A Lot, which I thought I better mention because I know someone will bring it up if I don't. And that is designed to be specifically to make things for cutting machines and also apparently lets you cut straight onto a silhouette cameo or at least it did, I don't know if it still does. But to me, when I had a look at it, it just looked a bit dated and basic so I didn't want to do a whole feature about it, especially because for the cost of it, I feel like you may as well get Silhouette Studio and just use that. But please let me know in the comments if I'm wrong and you're a fan. Then of course there is Procreate if you use an iPad and you want to draw your own designs. Watch my video of cutting on a Cricut using Procreate here. Then if you're using a phone, Design Space might actually be your quickest and easiest option for making stuff depending on what you want to do. But if you want to do something a bit more complicated, there is a Canva app as well and there's also Photoshop Express I think it's called or there's a few different Adobe apps that you might want to check out too or find a completely different design app to do this with. Let me know in the comments if I've missed any or if there's any other recommendations you think people should know about. I'm sure there are loads of others. Or let me know if you have any questions and please don't forget to like, follow and subscribe for more videos like this in future.